Well Together podcast. Welcome to Well Together podcast. In each episode, inspiring conversations from wellness experts will guide you towards a better life. If you are ready, let's start our healthy life journey. In this episode, Michelle Schoenfeld hosts Bedred and Ulu Soy, the resident doctor of the Life Co. Bodrum. They are talking on women's health after 35. Hello, I'm Michelle Schoenfeld, well-being alchemist and the host of this episode. In this episode, we're going to offer some valuable insights to both young and experienced women seeking to optimize their health and vibrancy. Because let's face it, as women, We go through different stages of life. Our hormones change and it presents unique challenges as well as some opportunities. Before I go any further, to help us better understand the changes that happen in our body, we are bringing in LifeCo resident physician and expert, Dr. Bedreddin. Welcome, Doctor, to the Well Together podcast. Thank you, Michelle. I am thrilled to have you here to help share with us this information because it can be a bit confusing. As women, our bodies change, hormones change, and there's so much disinformation and misinformation on the topic. Yeah, you're 100% right, because some of this uh, misinformation comes from the fact that uh, a generation of doctors have been uh, misinformed about hormone replacement and the need for such treatments for approximately 20 years. Now we start to begin the importance of uh, hormonal changes with uh, a lot of negative consequences. And now more and more doctors are seeking uh, ways to to uh, rebalance hormones after, let's say, age 50 and to protect women from many different physical and uh, psychological conditions. It's so true. And, you know, we definitely do talk about over 50 because we think about menopause, but really our hormones can change and things we see in our body, it could be as young as 35, even younger for some women, but things like painful or irregular periods, having the, the duration be different, hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, anxiety, not to mention sometimes low libido or acne breakouts, hair loss. Sometimes we get hair where we don't want it, yeah. right? <laughs> like stiff, icky joints, all these things that we see our bodies go through. Yeah. And it really can happen younger. It can happen in our 30s and 40s. What kind of things can we do? Like, I really would like to just get your opinion on lifestyle changes and things that that are in our control. Yeah, this is uh, extremely important because, I mean, you cannot just bring it down to hormones and hormone measurements only. We should develop a holistic uh, approach. Uh, what do I, I mean by, by, by this? Today, every human being living on the planet is probably being exposed to a lot of substances that have hormone-like effects, okay? These are called hormone disruptors. Even if you try to eat healthily, if you try to do detox, you, you cannot avoid. We live in the most toxic period of history. I mean, some girls have signs of puberty uh, at age 7.5, uh, eight, uh, when they are not physiologically and psychologically ready for such changes. Why? Because they think they eat something healthy. They eat a lot of, for example, dairy products. But these dairy products are loaded filled with so much hormone disruptors. So uh, if you want to have a healthy body, if a woman wants to have a healthy body and healthy mind, I think the first uh, thing that uh, you should focus on is lifestyle. I mean, without lifestyle changes, positive lifestyle changes, whatever you do, you will not get the optimum result. You know, it's so true. And I love that you said taking a holistic approach because that's so important. And it's also something that anybody who's listening can do from anywhere. You don't need necessarily fancy treatments. I would love to talk about detoxification. Okay. Um, I know you are one of the resident doctors here at the LifeCo Holistic Wellbeing Center that really focuses on detox for healthy organs and endocrine balance and hormonal balance. Some experts claim that we don't need detox because we have your liver, you have your kidneys, you have your skin, all of which may 
facilitate the detoxification process. Yes, this could have been true until some years ago, but now uh, they detect uh, rocket fuel, Teflon, neurological or hormone disruptors in newborn babies on the first day of their life. So we live in an extremely toxic world and this is why we have to be able to, we have to learn how to trigger these detoxification mechanisms in our body. That's what we do in our center. We use actually relatively simple methods here, but uh, methods are very simple, but they have very deep, very complex, and more importantly, very natural effects. I mean, we know that some guy got the Nobel Prize for this discovery. We know that a certain duration of uh, caloric restriction uh, initiates a self-cleansing process at the cellular level. Your cells look for alternative sources of energy and they eat old or dysfunctional proteins. So this is actually what we are doing here. This is why people tend to come again and again, because they come here, they may have some difficulty in the first couple of two days, but after that, they feel much better for at least three, four, five months. And we are, we are talking about the women's health, of course, this is particularly relevant to women's health also. I mean, you get rid of some toxins, not all of them, but <laughs> certainly some of them. You know, and I'll say just for the listeners who are listening, why I'm passionate about this is that I went through chemotherapy. And so I found the Life Co. because of what they do with the detoxification process, my body had been through so much with the chemicals. And I'm definitely more of a holistic alternative in the last 10 years of my life. But at this particular time, I did go through chemotherapy. And so I think it's important what you said about some people say, well, we have these natural filtering systems, right? Our skin is our largest organ. Our liver filters out bile. Our kidney filters out urine. We have our um, lymphatic system. But just like the filter in your house or the filter in your car. You have to clean it you regularly. You have to clean it, exactly. And that's what I love about the detoxes here, especially my personal favorite is the green juice. I know a lot of people also do the master detox. It's such a nice way to give your body a really good detox and help balance the hormones, balance the endocrine system. The other reason I really like doing these detoxes two, three times a year is because it's also a really good way to give your body a reset. Another nice thing about detox is that you're detoxifying your body from the heavy metals and all the things that are affecting your hormones. Um, and then yes, I would like you to continue talking about that because another thing that you mentioned earlier when we had the chance to speak was microbiome and constipation. Yeah. And I know that's tied in to detox and hormones. Exactly. So if you would um, maybe share with us a little bit about that, doctor. I mean, I was just in a Congress recently about hormone replacement in women and uh, the experts clearly stated that uh, if a woman has uh, severe constipation, then the effects of hormone replacement therapy is far from being optimal. Our microbiome uh, affects our hormones. Oestrogen should be metabolized and should you should be able to get rid of oestrogen metabolites effectively. But in constipated women, oestrogen tends to stay in the body again and again and uh, may have some unnatural effects. Normally, um, a human being eating a lot of plant-based food should not suffer from constipation. That is the most suitable uh, diet for human beings. So it sounds very simple, but it has a very wide range of effects. In some parts of the world where people enjoy a very long and healthy life, women, without getting uh, any hormone re uh, replacement, are healthy and active into advanced ages. And these people have no processed food in their diet at all. So this alone makes a huge difference. But in modern life, on the other hand, most women will probably require some hormonal support as well starting from around menopause and uh, later on. And uh, this is a very, very important uh, uh, part of women's health, in my opinion, because it appears that not giving women hormone replacement therapy after a certain age, uh, according to some experts, should be considered a medical legal crime. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when you don't give uh, the hormones needed by the body, you actually increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease, cognitive de decline, psychological mood fluctuations, cardiovascular diseases, even 
According to some experts, giving right doses of bioidentical hormones may be protective against even against breast cancer because breast cancer seems to produce its estrogen within itself. It doesn't get flared up or it doesn't come up because of the estrogen uh, coming from other places in your body. So I think estrogen replacements should be a routine part of, of course, there can be some contraindications but for, for the most women uh, in the world, especially in industrialized parts of the world, hormone replacement should always be considered. You know, it's interesting that you say that, and I'm glad that you brought that up because um, there has been so much uh, change in information True. over the years. And, you know, what worked for like our grandmothers is different than our mothers, which is different for us, which may be different for our daughters. And it we're just learning so much more about the body. And also now, they're not just synthetic hormones now. Yes, this is very, very important because some of the earlier studies that ended up with increased rates of cancer or other diseases actually used synthetic uh, hormones. But now we have uh, bioidentical hormones available and when given in the right dosage, they're, I can surely say that they're actually life-saving. According to some estimates, because of this lost generation of gynecologists and medical doctors, more than 200,000 women in the U.S. alone died prematurely because they lacked the hormones they needed. Look, in the past, lifespan was only, let's say, 55 years. And the duration of time after menopause was only 8 years, 9 years, 10 years for a woman. But now, we live much longer. And the amount of time a woman has to spend after menopause has become more than double. So, during this time, your bones become like a sponge your brain shrinks, your muscle is wasted, 10% muscle wasting after age 30 every 10 years. So it's a huge impact on the body. And if you don't do anything about it, then there will be unnecessary suffering. It's so true. And like for anybody who's listening here, you know, I don't want you to think this is all doom and gloom because it's not, you know, like, yes, it, it can be a challenge at our body's age and we watch it and maybe we don't recognize it the way we used to. But there are so many things like what you've mentioned that you can do now with hormone replacement, of course, with the detox, with healthy lifestyle changes Exactly. that can really help. And so it's natural. Maybe get a little hair loss. Maybe have a little crepey skin. Like things change, of course. But overall, there's so many things that we can do now. So come on, like we're changing, you know? Exactly. We want to be living into 100, 110. Like that could be reality. And but as you said, girls now can be getting their period at seven, eight, nine years old, which I'm guessing also means they could be going through menopause at earlier ages as well or later. We just don't know. So I don't know if there's a correlation uh, the main, here or The not. main disadvantage is that you are being exposed to an unnecessary load of uh, xenoestrogens, which are estrogen-like substances that stimulate your hormones all the time. So that may increase the risk of, for example, uh, estrogen dependent uh, organs like your endometrium the yes. inner lining or, or your breasts so uh, it can cause a lot of uh, negative consequences yeah. I don't usually share um on the on podcast or in interviews, my personal situation. But I do think it's important for women listening to have mentors. I did go through menopause very young because I went through chemotherapy young. And of course, yes, it was a shock at the time. But now into my 50s, I think my skin looks great. I think my body is good. I feel strong. I feel vibrant. I feel healthy. And I feel like most of the time when people see me, they have no idea how old I am. You know, of course, I do a little bit of cosmetic stuff here and there. I like my, you know, PRP and I like some treatments, of course. But a lot of it is that I walk, I swim, I eat healthy, healthy yeah. I have a high plant based diet, diet, and I detox two to three times a year for the last seven years. And that I think makes a really big difference in my body, my energy level, my mood, all of it. Yeah, and uh, I think our listeners will also appreciate what you do is actually is not a very, very difficult thing. I mean, you just have to choose the right food. You just have to spend this required 30, 35 minutes every day for exercise. And you have to have a good sleep. 
and positive relationship with the uh, people around you. I think uh, these are very, very simple old recipes, but they still work. It's so true. It is so true. And, you know, that's another thing I like about when you, if you do a detox is that, and I talked about giving it your body reset, is that it's not just physical. It also, you can think about, okay, I need to take some time to meditate. True. I need to take some time to release the stress. And meditation can be walking, running, for some people shopping, whatever. Just things that take your mind off your to-do list and make you focus on your health and making yourself a priority. Because aging can be wonderful. It really can. We just have to be on top of it and be an active participant. Uh, perhaps the word anti-aging is not very appropriate, but well-aging is the right word. Well-aging. Okay? I like that. We haven't found a way to stop the time now. So we have to adapt. And that's the concept we are focusing on, well-aging. This is why our detox programs are not focusing on detox only. We have a lot of educational activities. Because if you combine detox with a positive lifestyle change then you get the i mean you are a living example of this i mean you feel perhaps even younger you look younger than perhaps 10 years ago i mean your energy level has gone up since then so how did this happen because you made some changes in your lifestyle you on top of detox you made some lifestyle changes and that gave you a great result it did and even me being pretty healthy being you know well-being alchemist and having my own show on this topic i when i come here and start the detox after like a long winter or a long summer, my skin doesn't maybe look so great. My eyes aren't so bright. Like I have a little visceral fat that I carry around my belly or on my flanks. And when I leave here a week later, my eyes are bright. Like my skin looks better. I have more energy. Yeah. It's amazing to just get that little reset. So anyway, well, this has been a delightful show, doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Do you have any last words you want to share? I mean, of course, lifestyle uh, will uh, effectively deal with most of the problems we have been uh, discussing today but sometimes you need some fine tuning and it's always a good idea to get some help from an expert uh, uh, because uh, in order to more effectively deal with let's say vaginal dryness hair loss or wrinkles in your skin or bone loss or muscle loss sometimes you may need some support uh, that may be in the form of some further lifestyle changes, hormone replacement therapy or some natural cosmetic treatments or some IV supplements like NAD. So I think it's good to see that more and more people are aware of this uh, nowadays. I hope this will be uh, available uh, to wider populations all around the world. Well, thank you for sharing you. so much of your knowledge with us today, Dr. Badreddin. And also, if those of you listening are interested, the Life Co. several times a year also does women's health detox programs or special programs. So check their website if you want to know when they'll be hosting their next retreat for um, women, different topics, menopause, healthy aging, things like that. And to all of you, again, listening, thank you for joining us on the Well Together podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Schoenfeld. And be well, everyone. Well Together Podcast. Inspiring stories from the Life Co. Dr. Anna was one of our guests in Life Co. Bodrum. She's sharing her fascinating detox experience. The first time at the Life Co., I was really fascinated by this detox high, which before I hadn't really experienced. I started out with the Green Master, which is the master without fruit juice, so just based on green juices, which I thought was a really deep cleanse, so I could see fast results. The first time I actually did that for two weeks, which is pretty long, I think. And then I switched to the green juice, and this is really what was giving me nutrients. So I felt like, wow, this is so replenishing and um, I was really yeah giving my body so much so that that was really beautiful and the nice thing is that the effect is ongoing so it's not just okay I'm at the life co I feel great I'm glowing I have my energy back and by the way also emotionally I felt like really this 
let's call it detox high. And I think detox high is something everybody should experience at some point. It's really, really special. So I think doing a detox is not just about losing a few pounds or dealing with some physical ailment always means getting on some different level, both mentally and emotionally. Well Together Podcast. Are you ready to create the best version of yourself? Your transformation journey starts at the Life Co. With over 18 years of experience, the Life Co. Wellbeing is committed to helping you achieve optimal health and well-being with a unique range of programs and retreats. Holistic well-being experiences that promote longevity and meaning in your life await you at the Life Co. Centers in Bodrum, Antalya, and Puket. Visit thelifeco.com today to start your wellness journey. Next episode of the Well Together podcast. Men's health after 35. Thank you for listening Well Together podcast. 